this place that's in Arizona. Uh, here you might know where it is. If not, it's just like an hour, 25 minute drive out of Flagstaff, but like another like 25 minutes to drive here. So I'm actually here at the Grand Falls. I'm at the Grand Falls today. So this is my first time being here. I'm just walking to catch up to my sister and her boyfriend. Um, they just went walking down this way, so I'm just trying to catch up to them. But right there in that little like ditch area, um, those photos right there are pretty good. But now I'm just walking around this way. But I mean, it's a Grand Falls. So one thing I had to look up about this place was that um, the great, a good time to get here is between March and April which is like the only times when it's like all the snow and rain are coming down from I guess coming down and joining here at the Colorado River. Little Colorado River. some people down there. because the washboard is pretty bad getting out here so I do recommend like getting an SUV or like a truck just a bigger vehicle just to make it out here because those washboards are really really bad out here getting getting here so but yeah the washboard is like pretty bad getting out here with my car we kind of had to like slow down basically go like 10 miles per hour driving out here but overall this view this amazing going down the guy up there said it was easy but we're running into some problems um, just because there's like some drops like right here it's like a little drop just going straight down and then onto those rocks so just trying to figure out like which way is easier as well sorry my thumb keeps getting in the middle of the camera but, yeah they said it was easy trying to crawl back up that way but when I looked down that way that way was steeper okay well I guess it's just me there's my sister and her boyfriend up there they can't make their way down so it's just me yay but yeah but yeah also be careful because I already ran into like wildlife meaning lizards so there's like lizards and stuff on this trail so just like an FYI Keep your family safe, keep your kids safe, watch your kids, watch your animals. 
So I'm just going down this by myself. It, it seems like it now, but um, yeah. Almost there. Yep, they're up there, so. Just gotta be careful. Alright, I'm gonna turn the camera off because I can't do this with one hand. Alright, guys, so we're almost to the bottom. I keep getting stuck. Check this out. This is so cool. Okay, alright, so I made it down to the bottom and now we're at like this little creek thingy. Um I'm just making sure they're still up there. I they probably are waiting for me up there but yeah now the only thing is like how muddy it is now getting over there hopefully i can make it there without falling into the water but yeah i mean good adventure so so far it's pretty good it's probably getting loud because i'm like really close to it now like this is right there Part of the Navajo Nation. This is my backyard, so welcome to my backyard. But honestly, though, like behind me, I'm just making sure just to see if there's like any other people coming behind me. But like, I don't have my knife with me right now. I left it in the car because there's like so many people, so it's just kind of like, why are there? Why would I need to carry my knife? But then my mind just started going. But like, honestly, like, look at that. Like, this whole place is just giving me the hills have eyes vibes. If you guys have not seen that movie, like this is how I would think it would look like. But this kind of like looks like the movie. I'll show you guys look. Isn't it not like the movie The Hills Have Eyes because like I'm kind of like freaking myself out? no reason at all and it's just me down here so alrighty so now I'm making my way back out so I was just standing there taking a few pictures taking in the moment and then I look back up and then I see my sister waving at me to get out. So, I'm on my way out now. I was really enjoying this moment, but I have no idea what else they have planned, but I'm just really happy that I got to experience coming to Grand Falls. It's been on my bucket list since I came out to Flagstaff. Oh yeah, and then also like in these rocks, there's like little caves, which is weird. To see but like yeah birds and stuff probably go in there so yeah. welcome to the Navajo Nation my backyard so all right guys so I'm gonna back out I'm winded it's a continue to do cardio it was a fun time apparently Navajo Nation what was it called Navajo Nation Park Services came by and said that they were going to close Grand Falls. I swear to God, this Corona stuff, man. Taking the fun out of everything. But making our way out right now. So, I'm winded.
that he's over there on that side somewhere over there and then there's like another one over here so yeah we need to get out which is a bummer Alrighty, guys so right now it's like 8 10 in the evening we got back like a little after the grand falls so yeah um when i joined back up with my sister and her boyfriend they did say like the park ranger service or somebody came by and said that they were going to be closing off the ground falls so i'm not sure if it's like that with other um places around the navajo nation because with this time being so crazy like right now so i was really hoping to go to other places soon but if they're closing the grand falls i'm pretty sure they would be closing down like horseshoe bend antelope canyon all the tourist places on the on the reservation um down because of what's happening in the world take care of yourselves watch out for your family watch out for your grandparents especially your grandparents um, this virus is attacking people with weak immune systems such as like the elderly and kids and babies so we all need to do our part just to take care of one another but at the same time it's just like for me like i really don't want to be worrying about it i mean it seems like everything's it just seems like everything's being taken care of everyone's doing their part you know thank all of the medical staff doctors nurses everybody in the hospitals because right now they're on the front lines of this war with this virus and i just hope like it doesn't spread anymore I hope it doesn't spread to the reservation because if it does get bad for me i want to go back to the reservation if it gets crazy and if it comes out here into flagstaff like deuces flagstaff like i ain't staying out here <laughs> Yeah, and then once we got back, we had La Fonda's, which was really good. But I guess now for Arizona, um, now I think the whole thing about the lockdown is happening. So restaurants, everything is closing like at 8 p.m. tonight, and I think that'll be it. So yeah, I'm going to close off this vlog right here. Uh, it's probably a pretty short vlog. So I'm going to try and get my other two videos that I recorded back in February. So for me, I'm like trying to learn off of YouTube um, how to make like a thumbnail, how to make an intro, how to add music. So within this vlog, you guys kind of saw some of that. And with what I already made, like that seems pretty good to me. So I'm like pretty happy with that. So... I'm just going to close off the vlog here. Hope you guys stay safe. Wash your hands. Cough in your sleeve. Cough in your shirt. Just take care of one another. Take care of your kids, your animals. Grandma and grandpa's animals, you know. Because they probably don't want to be going outside during this terrible time, which is scary. So, yeah. See you guys all next time in the next vlog. Or you'll see me in the next vlog. I can't see you. So I'll see you guys later. Bye.